government chief whip has absolutely no business whatsoever shouting from a sedentary position. He order the honourable gentleman will remain in the chamber. When sorry, still is. Just uh, call second uh, Yeah, I know what I'm doing. And <laughs> since when an amendment has order? Since uh, I know what I'm doing. That when he turns up at our children's school as a parent, he's a very well-behaved fellow. Be a good boy. Assessment that at order, any time in our order. history. I apologise for interrupting the prime minister. There is simply far too much noise. The public doesn't like it. And neither do I. Prime this Minister. government or that Labour Party led by Jeremy Corbyn. We don't name people in the chamber. People must observe the rules. No, no, or, order. 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 I am simply and politely informing the Prime Minister of the very long established procedure with which everybody, including the Prime Minister, must comply. Mr. Lewis, get a grip of yourself, man. Come. Take up yoga, you'll find it beneficial, man. I say to member, order. Resume your seat, Mr. Harper. You don't stand when I'm standing, and that's the end of it. Mr. Angus Brendan McNeil, calm yourself. You may be a cheeky chappy, but you're also an exceptionally noisy one. <laughs> the Prime Minister will please withdraw the word idiot. It's unparliamentary. A simple withdrawal will suffice. We're grateful. Order, put it back. Hello. I must order the honourable gentleman to withdraw immediately from the House for the remainder of this day's sitting. This is intolerable behaviour as far as the public... No, it's not funny. That sticker on the subject of Brexit happens to be affixed to or in the windscreen of my wife's car. <laughs> yes. And I'm sure the honourable gentleman wouldn't suggest for one moment... <laughs> That a wife is somehow the property or chattel of her husband. You are well intentioned and principled, but you are over excitable and you need to contain yourself. It requires you to take some medicament, then so be it. After the imposition of the migrant ban by President Trump, I am even more strongly opposed to an address by President Trump in Westminster Hall. She's asked the question. I dealt with it months ago. I've reiterated the rationale for the way in which I responded. The matter has been treated of, and I am leaving it there.